Okay, so this is going to be one of those um, thrashing unscripted videos where guy just takes stuff apart and pretend that they know what's what. And I just want to do a video like this because I basically have no equipment with me. I'm in my dorm room. I'm back. The coronavirus crisis. Actually, it didn't end, but um, uh, the crisis situation in our country did. So we're going back to school. But I couldn't bring my stuff, so I couldn't make any more anything more creative. Sorry. So yeah, I'm just going to make uh, one of those videos. So I got this. This is one of those cheap, crappy, generic USB game pads, and it's busted. The right thumbstick doesn't work. So let's take it apart. Let's see what can be used. What can be salvaged? Does anything have any worth in it? Let's see. Okay, let's open it. Okay. Okay, so I removed the screws. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing that you can see, and it caught my eye right away, was this 5 volt motor. And it's funny because vibration never worked. Let me just refocus. I use manual focus. I, I don't like using autofocus. Okay, <laughs> I can use this motor, uh, it, it can be used, it can be salvaged, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really funny. Okay, the analog sticks. Now this analog stick was the culprit, and yeah, it's screeching from inside. Let's see, maybe it was just dirty. Yes, yes it was dirty, but I do not intend to use this gamepad again, so I don't care. I'm just going to use it for something else. Okay, let's let's extract the board from it. The motor board. Okay, so this is basically what a gamepad is, huh? A bunch of buttons, a bunch of rubbery buttons, okay, wow, wow, this circuit board is naked, okay, this is, this is the lamp that shows you that the analog stick is on, these are diodes, a bunch of capacitors and resistors. You know, since this board is dead, I'm going to be using this board to practice micro soldering. As for this motor, I will, I can desolder it, but I'm gonna do something the old fashioned way. Grab my snips and snip it off. I will see later if the motor works or not. Second thing that I'm going to be using, you know, that I'm going to use 100% is the cable. I want to make myself a nice breadboard, hold it, a nice breadboard power supply, a 5 volt breadboard power supply. Let me just cut it, okay. This is a normal USB type A cable and these wires provide power to it. Uh, this is I think the signal wire. I don't really know what this white wire is but this is 5 volts and this is ground. So basically you can tape up or 
you can do whatever you can strip these wires and you can insert them into your breadboard and you have five volts of course you need to use a five volt adapter you know your phone charger type of thing so i think that's that's what i'm going to be using 100 percent so I'm gonna take this LED. Oh, do my eyes deceive me or what do I see? This is, uh, I think a quartz crystal, but I don't know what value it is. But this quartz crystal can be used. Now, I believe that there's maybe some SMD microcontroller under this blob. Because they usually put these non-conductive blobs for a reason. But yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be using this board mostly to practice micro soldering. And I'm going to desolder these uh, joysticks. I'm going to clean one of them. Yeah, those joysticks work pretty well, but you can definitely see that this one is dirty let me get it up to the microphone it creaks when you use it this one is okay this one really creaks i am surprised i mean this controller was cheap it cost about i don't know it cost about eight bucks i think but to be so barren i mean come on you can barely see anything on it. The board itself is not dead, it's just the analog stick. I could replace the analog stick and play with it again, but the analog stick would cost me about three or four bucks, and the entire controller itself cost eight bucks. So I don't think it's really worth it, you know? But I'm going to keep this board, you know, for, <laughs> for fun, because I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to see what's new and i'm going to learn how to micro solder i would really really like to learn that this led works it works 100 percent this is a normal three volt three volt battery let's see okay and voila the led works good and it doesn't get too warm which i like I'm going to use that LED because I love LEDs. Now, when it comes to this motor, I'm just curious, does it work? I know motors draw a lot of current, so it actually works. Now, why, pray tell, would you include a motor Inside this, inside the entire controller, without it ever vibrating. Oh my god. Okay. This casing, these, this enclosure is pretty, pretty well, but I'm gonna probably toss everything away because I'm not a repairman, but I think that the motor doesn't work because of the board itself. I mean, it's, it's, it's really barren. And I'm, and I'm not going to waste my time reverse engineering it because I really don't care. It's, it's, it's not worth it. It's not like I'm ever going to <laughs> make my own joystick. So yeah, thank you people for watching this video. If you did, if you didn't, that's also okay because I was just curious and I just wanted to see what the heck is this thing? <laughs> the thing is I pulled out the motor and the funniest thing is that I, this controller can be used again. I just needed to resolder these connections, but I, I really don't want to do that. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something, anything, and yeah, no wonder these generic USB joysticks cost, I don't know, this one cost me eight bucks.
but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you next time when i do something a little bit more productive thank you